Hey, what's up, guys? What is going on? Um, this is a little video here that I'm going to make here. And it's going to be a little bit about the Mandela effect and how I think that has something to do with these major power hurricanes that we have going on. Um, but also it's going to be like a little chit chat. And I'm going to try to put this on both of my channels. Um, well, I have a few channels, but I'm going to try to put this on two particular channels. Um... And hopefully, yeah, that'll work out. But if you're on one of my channels that has nothing to do about the Mandela effect, look up what the Mandela effect is and get back and get back here. As a matter of fact, look up what the Mandela effect is and, and look up in YouTube, look up Mandela effect map change, M-A-P map changes. OK, because that's what this video is going to be about a little bit. Besides, it's also going to be a little bit, bit about me ranting or chit-chatting or whatever. Just speaking shit out of my mind of how I'm thinking and feeling right now. But let's get to this Mandela effect. So, okay. Um, well, what I'm perceiving a theory, a possible theory of why we're having these super storms like this, okay? Not only the super storms, we're having other shit, but I'm going to talk about that later on in my rant, rant chit chat or whatever the fuck this is going to be at the end of the goddamn day. I don't know. But um, you guys know that we had the Mandela effect maybe about a year, year and a half ago, where in which we noticed that the map just totally fucking changed. Like the whole map just fucking changed. Shit just out of place. Shit missing. New fucking countries that we never heard of is here. Just shit like that. Okay. Now, something that was a huge change that's very, very fucking noticeable, except by fucking idiots. No, let me stop. <laughs> but something that's very noticeable is that South America and North America, they are totally fucked. Like, they look totally different. South America, it looks like it was per pushed further to the right, okay? Um, Florida, all that is just, it's totally different, okay? And as far as Africa, it appears that it was closer in the previous maps or the other reality map. And now Africa is further away. Okay, now what does this have to do about what the fuck I'm about to talk about with these hurricanes and shit? All right, let me tell you. I think that if the map was what it was before, that we would not be having all of these issues and things. Okay, now I say this because... When it comes to hurricanes, now, I live in Florida, so we've been dealing with hurricanes for fucking ever. And we've had bad ones. I think Hurricane Andrew was probably one of the worst. That one was in Miami. You know, we're talking about like ugh, probably 91, 92. It was, you know, really, really bad. Okay. Um. Anyhow. But we have hurricanes, you know, every other year, you know, something to come through, maybe a category one or two or something, you know, in some part of the state. And so anyways, we don't have these big, powerful storms like this, like back to back, like this is kind of unusual. So I want to put some little theories and things out there. But with the Mandela effect and with the map, I feel like with the um, Africa being so far away now. That most of these storms start over off in Africa. Always have. Always, always have. And something that I've always noticed is those storms that come right from Africa, they are deadly as fuck. Um, and the reason why it makes sense is because they get to have so much time to get over across the water. Nothing is breaking that up. Um, it has so much, it, it can build up a lot of energy. It can get bigger and fatter and, and stronger and more fierce. Um, it's, it doesn't have anything to, you know, stop it. It still have all this warm ass water and, you know, that's feeding it more energy. So then when it comes over, it start, usually it'll probably hit the islands like the Caribbean, them, Haiti, um, and hit, you know, usually like probably, more than likely Florida, but sometimes it'll go like Louisiana or it'll go Texas, you know, something like this. Now, but this is different to me. It's been, and I'm just thinking that the change of the goddamn fucking map got something to do with it. You know, I think it's a piece or a part to the puzzle of it having something to do with it. Okay. Because. These, this is not normal. Har Hurricane Harvey came. Okay. And I do believe that that total eclipse might have something to do with this. And I still can't quite put my hand on it. But it's like right at that total eclipse, a, a lot of things started happening, okay? So, 
Um, Hurricane Harvey came and we know the devastation and they're still, you know, going through it from there. And then a week later, Hurricane Emma, um, Irma, you know, starts and she's on her fucking rampage. And now we got another one called Jose, you know, coming from Africa as well. And it's another motherfucking one. Uh, was it Caitlin or some shit? I forgot what the bitch name called, but it started with a K, of course. They go in alphabetical order. And that motherfucker is now, uh, you know, in the water as well. And, you know, these are some big as fuck. Um, especially the Harvey and the, um, um, Irma. Big as fuck. I'm not really going to say about the other two because, you know, they ain't even halfway, you know, across the water yet to even really analyze them totally. But at this point, I mean, these are bigger than fucking states, you know. Um, So that's that's a lot. And it's not normal. It's not fucking normal, okay? So, yes, I think the Mandela effect with the maps have something to do with it. Um, I think somehow, you know, I don't know how they flipped the switch. Now, I know this shit might sound crazy, but the Mandela effect is crazier than a motherfucker. I don't know how the fuck they flipped the switch. I don't know how they switch the shit up. You know, I don't know if they're using um, magic. I don't know if it's the universe, you know, the reality shifting just along in themselves by themselves. I don't know if this is Mother Earth ascending. I don't know what's going on. But whatever it is, it's like it's making things shift and come together to make all this shit happen. Okay, now, now here go a lot of my rant shit. I'm like, okay, you know what? There's some crazy shit. So we had the total fucking eclipse. We had, after that, you know, this Charlottesville shit. Right now, let me see. The planet Mercury is still in retrograde. And it will be for a couple more weeks in retrograde. And anyone that's not familiar with that, it appears that the planet is going in backwards. Um, And so, therefore, things that deal with communications, with travel, contracts, things that deal with that planet... Those things can be greatly affected. A lot is communications. Okay. Um, So that's going on with that planet right now. We had the total fucking eclipse. We just had the full moon last night. Which was the 6th of September. Um, And I'm saying all of this. For those of you that may not believe. That planets have an effect on us. Let's just say. I believe not. I I believe they do. Let's just say that. And so anyways. We had all that. Okay, so right when Mercury when Mercury went into retrograde, we had the Charlottesville situation. White people fighting other motherfucking white people. Now, I ain't trying to be funny or nothing, you know, but we got this black-white situation, this whole racial thing going on in that little part of the Matrix. There's so many parts of the Matrix. Y'all know what? I love YouTube. The reason why I love YouTube so much is because, you know, that is different pockets of the Matrix, right? Like, it's different pockets and portions. But YouTube really shows it. It shows it because as a person that get on YouTube, let's say that you're into sewing. So you watch all the sewing videos. That's your matrix. That is a part of your matrix that you're in. You know, you want to learn how to sew a pillow or you want to learn how to, you know, sew some jeans or make a shirt or make a hat or whatever. And so it's part of the matrix. And then you have the other part. You have, you know, the religious people. You have the Christian people. And so you might watch videos all about Christianity and all about Jesus Christ. And you might, you know, the Bible. And so that's another part of the matrix, right? And it's just like on the side of your recommended videos is your part of the matrix that you are in. You are now plugged in, Neo. You are in the fucking matrix, right? You are plugged in. And carry the fuck on because this can distract you from what's most important. Um, but, you know, we have many because I am in different parts of the matrix myself. You know, um, we all are in different parts. You cannot be on this planet and not be a part of different portions of the fucking matrix. It's hard to unplug. And I don't think you really can possibly unplug from the matrix in flesh and body. I think you have to be in spirit form before you can actually unplug. And then some people probably still don't unplug from the matrix at that point. But that's something different. I don't want to get into that because this is going on my Mandela Effect channel as well as one of my other channels. My other channel probably understand it. But my Mandela Effect channel, y'all probably don't want to get that deep into that. But anyways, um, so yeah, I like YouTube for that. Now, 
So when it comes to that, it's like we just have all these different, you know, parts of the matrix. Okay. So while we have the different different parts of the matrix, different people have their different opinions on why is these hurricanes happening, depending on what part of the matrix you come from. You know, do you come from a religious part? Do you come from a scientific part? If you understand what I'm saying, if you come from a moralistic part, an, you know, so um, it's very interesting to see different people's opinions and things like that. And depending on how they are programmed, because we're all programmed. Let's just face it. I'm programmed. You're programmed. We are all fucking programmed. Somebody gave us a fucking program. I know it sounds like I'm going all over the place because I am. Um, it might connect. It might not. I'm just putting my thoughts out there right now. Um, so anyways, to this thing. So we have all these hurricanes going on, right? We have the Charlottesville going on. We have Donald Trump. Well, being him and then we have <laughs> right with we have the you know the immigration situation going on with the quote unquote dreamers we have the um north korea kim being him you know just a bigger asshole you know um we have all these different things going on we have um i just heard about a place in alabama and they have um, hookworms, so parasites, pestilences, should I say, um, that they have in that particular town, a, a big issue, a big problem. So you got that. You got Asia just got flooded out thousands, you know, I think they said, I think it was a thousand or so people passed, died in that. And you have the mudslides. You have the wildfires like in three or four different states now. And they're saying that they're worse than, you know, anything. Um, what about the earthquakes that just, you know, went off? I think by Yellowstone Park was one of them. It was like 20 or 30 earthquakes in one day. This happened just a couple of days ago. And then I want to say also in Georgia, there were some tremors of earthquakes. Tremors. Um... It's just a lot of shit going on. That's all I got to say. And so, me, um, being from the a person that um, used to practice Christianity most faithfully, um, I thought about the Bible. And I said, wow, you know, as, it's other ancient um, prophecies as well that um, correlates with the Bible. But let's talk about the Bible right now. Um... And I said, okay, I remember that Jesus said in the end times, all these different things will happen, okay, the signs and all of this. Now, I'm not getting into a religious situation because I can look at different things and put puzzle pieces together and say, okay, this is what this sounds like, blah, 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 blah. But I remember in there... Um, there were seals and the trumpets and things with also, which is also your chakras and stuff like that when you get into different occult information. But if you look at it literally, okay, and not figuratively, and not in code as the Bible was written in, but if you look at it literally as well, I remember that these seals or trumpets or something was being uh, uh, blown. And released. And as these things happen, things begin to happen. Things they said the moon would turn into blood. Now, as a child, I always thought the moon was gonna turn into fucking blood and just fall on everybody. But now when you look at astrology, oh, okay, that could be an eclipse. Okay, you see what I'm saying? When the moon turns to a red color. Because of what the you know what's going on with the world, with the planets, with the solar system, with the universe, with all of that. And so I say, okay, the moon will turn into blood and all these things that happen. And then an angel came and an angel, you know, um, an angel that was over the water, it, it did this. And an angel that was over this, it did that. Basically, the Bible version is God had the angels destroy the world. Okay, it was judgment time. And so angels, which I definitely believe in, and angels, which... I know they can do good and quote unquote good things as well as quote unquote bad things. However you want to see it. Um, just like 
demons can do quote unquote good things as well as quote quote unquote bad things. However, you decide to see that. But in the Bible, it say that um, a third of the world will be consumed in fire. I, I think it was a third in fire, a third in water, a third in pestilences, and 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 a third in disease. Um, I meant famine, famine, famine. Was it famine? Okay, yeah. So it was saying that all these different fucked up shit was gonna happen, and you know, a lot of people was gonna die, and you know, all of this, and it was gonna be the uh, uh, the seven years, you know. And it's like, fuck, you know, this this is sure enough looking like that shit. Now, do I believe that this is the coming of Jesus? I don't, because of what Christ is and the Christos and all of that. And people that's on my other channel, you'll know what I'm talking about. People on my Mandela channel, you might not know what I'm talking about, and I don't have time to really get into it. But I think this is a time to connect with your higher self. I think it's a time to get to know who the fuck you are. I think there's a time to know what the fuck you can do, who you are. And yes, just to connect with oneself. And something that we should have been doing all the fuck alone. Okay. But with that being said, it's like, okay, all this chaos going on. Okay. So the prophecies, they know what the fuck, Nostradamus, do we know what the fuck he talking about? You know what I'm saying? It sound like things that Nostradamus talk about, sound like things that the Mayans talk about, okay? Um, so it's like, okay, but do the Mandela effect, do it play a role or how did it play a role in it? You see where I'm coming from? And again, for those of you who's listening on my other channel that don't know about the Mandela effect, look it up, check it out. I even have it on my thing. You know, you can look at my Mandela Effect channel. But anyways, but not only mine, look at everybody's. But anyways, um, so yeah. So I'm like, that's fucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it also made me think about um, that goddamn movie. Uh, Left Behind with Kirk Cameron. I still like all the movies. It was like three parts of some shit. But anyways, it was about... Um, God coming to save his people Jesus coming back to the world to save the people And blah 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 and some preachers and stuff Got left behind because they were sinning They wasn't right and so they had to deal with all the Bullshit and the drama And everything and then maybe they can prove themselves, and then they can go to Be in heaven with God okay That's the story y'all That's that's just the Story okay And it's interesting that the person Who made that movie how they did with Kirk Cameron being this news reporter that was like on a YouTube type of channel. Like he would go out and he would report these things like what these YouTubers are doing now. Well, hell, I'm talking about these like I'm not a fucking YouTuber. But like how us, you, all of us, how us YouTubers are doing now. And what he would do, he would use these things that, um, well, at the time, we didn't think it was true. You know, we were dealing with fucking floppy disk. If y'all remember floppy disk. If you don't, you're young as fuck, baby. <laughs> but that's how we used to save data. And so instead of dealing with floppy disks, he was dealing with Kirk Cameron. He was dealing with these small little chips that he could save information on. And it just seemed so impossible. What the fuck were they talking about? But now today, we know it's easy. We can get things, little chips that we can slide SD cards and things we can slide in our computers. Micro SD cards that will save information. That's basically what he had. So it's just interesting, like 20, 30 years ago when they made these movies, that they had certain information in there. And it was chaos, it was hell, it was just everything going on. And then, of course, you know, you had this one person that was the ruler of all, Lucifer. The, you know, I hate to say it like that, but the devil that they claim, you know, um, had come in the flesh and was the president and, you know, that type of deal. And they were killing the, putting the Christians in FEMA camps type, you know, things and situations like that. So it's just interesting how, you know, people come up with these movies and things and... You know, they can see into the future. You know, how can they see into the future? You know, I don't know. Time travel, astral projection, astral travel, remote viewing, um, just to name a few things. There are things such as psychics. Um, but, you know, Christians might call them seers or uh, prophets. 
Okay? But, you know, secular people would probably call them psychics. Okay? So, anyways, um, yeah. So, I'm just like, okay, a lot of fucking shit is going on. What the fuck is really going on? What's behind it? You know, because with the Mandela effect coming so strong in the past couple years, it's like, um... I was thinking, okay, we're going to another level. We're going to another uh, dimension, another reality. And I still feel we are. Mother Earth is going through her, her pangs, her, 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 her labor pains, you know. Also, man is so fucked up. Man as in human beings is so fucked up. They done fucked up the planet. You know, putting shit on here that don't belong here. Taking shit out of here that don't need to be taken out. All the trees are fucking gone. Like, we ain't got oxygen. I don't know what the fuck we breathing, y'all. Because they tearing down every guy. I, you know, I understand you might want to build a house. You might want to build a building. You might want to build a mall. But, God damn. You know, that just, it's like they're artificially inseminating this motherfucker. Everything is artificial. Everything is inseminated. And, yeah, y'all, this is just a rant video. So, I'm just putting a lot of my thoughts that's scattered about on there. So it might not connect. It might do. But in any ways, it just feels like everything's artificial. And Mother Earth is not fucking artificial. She is fucking organic. Right? And that's what I mean. Okay, we have the sun. We use the sun for light. And it's beautiful and it's wonderful. Okay, but then some capitalists came in and said, hey, let's let's um come up with a utility company. And let's do light that way. And, you know... It's fake. It's fucking artificial. And what about the food? The GMO foods. You know, we don't even have ex we don't have access to real fucking food. Is that some shit? And if you try to get access to real food, you're gonna have to pay six, seven, eight times the price of the artificial food. It's like something or somebody or some things is trying to turn human beings into artificial Mm, that might be going too far but i don't know is it going too far you know i was just looking at um this show million dollar listing and they were showing these people how people in new york live which i personally i personally don't think i would like it and the south is just so different but they got these big tall buildings and um the rich folks especially in the buildings they have swimming pools inside of it they have like parks and shit inside of it gardens and shit it's artificial it's like it's not real it's it's not fucking it's not real it's like they don't want us around nothing real and yes this does connect because i feel like the earth can't take this shit no more i feel like it's like a big fucking cancer to it like fuck you know i want real fucking air i want real fucking trees i want real fucking fruits i want real fucking vegetables you know, animals and human beings could sustain themselves on real shit for how long have we been around? No one knows. But for however long, the planet was just fine. I'm sure it, it, the planet had issues from time to time. You know, the ice age and all of that. If that shit is even real. You know, you got to wonder all this shit these motherfuckers teaching. Telling you how real that shit is. Motherfucker, if I wasn't there, I'm not really sure how real it was. And now that I'm experiencing the Mandela effect, bitch, I really don't know how real shit is. Because you got me trying to doubt my own motherfucking self when I know what the reality of shit really is, bitch. But anyways, I digressed a little bit. So anyways, everything just seemed artificial and I don't know, you know, like, can nature, can the elements, earth, air, fire, water, can it deal with human beings? Can it deal with the fuckery? Motherfuckers building bombs over here. That's including the U.S. You know, that's including all these goddamn countries. Motherfuckers building bombs over there. Motherfuckers polluting shit. Got satellites. Got shit all around the motherfucking earth. Got shit just floating out in space around the earth. And I ain't gonna lie, we do enjoy it because we like our Wi-Fi. And we do like, you know, being able to watch TV or whatever it is that, you know, them satellites do up there. But, you know... Got thousands of them motherfuckers just hanging around the planet. I mean, I don't think Mother Earth had all this shit to go through, you know. Even, you know, even a hundred years ago. She, you know, it's like 
man just fuck him up man is fucking up and there has to be you know it has to be dealt with and this might be mother earth's way of dealing with it earthquakes volcanoes mudslides hurricanes tornadoes storms blah 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 and i myself you know i'm in florida and i'm telling you now we've been prepping this shit for the past few days but bitch look like this motherfucker right here i mean motherfucker might have to go <laughs> like for real because this bitch right here this i'm a bitch Mm -mm. this bitch ain't playing no motherfucking games now it don't look like i have all that type of water that it had you know like like harvey had but it's tearing shit up with a lot of wind so i'm like bitch you know i done prepped my shit and shit we good you know we said we was gonna ride it out but i don't know we might have to ride this shit out in tennessee bitch because and then look the storm's so fucking powerful it look like it's gonna go from there to Georgia to Tennessee, just up the motherfucker, and you know. But who knows? Maybe it'll turn. Maybe it won't. You know. And it's just some strange shit going on. And if we know anything about the elite, the elite is very knowledgeable in occult science, and they try to make sure that the masses are not. So you know, with us having that eclipse, there's a lot of magical things you can do with the planets and with that eclipse. And it's just so crazy and strange to me that Hurricane Harvey came at that total eclipse. But not only that, the full moon that just happened on September the 6th, which was yesterday, that full moon was called the Harvest Moon. So it's funny to me. How they happen to name this year, they happen to name the hurricanes what they named them. And it's funny to me how that particular hurricane became Harvey at the harvest moon. And if we know what harvesting is, what are you harvesting? What are you reaping? What are you sowing? What the fuck is going on? Who's working this magic? Who needs sacrifices? Okay, you saying, okay, all right, now you're getting into that conspiracy shit. You're getting into that conspiracy shit. Okay, well, you know, you might do or don't believe in the Illuminati. You might do or don't believe that they plan certain rituals. You might not do or don't believe that they try to cipher all the energy out of you with all this bullshit politics and religion and just bullshit. I mean, I can't help that, but... <laughs> I do think that there are powers out there One percent of them That um tries to keep control Over the other 99 percent And I'm going to leave that at that But yes back to this whole situation With just everything Just going fucking crazy on the planet right now It's like okay be careful And then something else I noticed Just personally like Personal shit Like um People on the street, you know, just in your neighborhood, you know, just regular motherfuckers. And it's like people are very negative. People are very like it takes nothing to trigger them. It takes nothing to set them off. You know what I'm saying? It's like a negative energy. And we know we got these elf waves going around, you know, those low frequency waves and just all types of shit going on. Um, I do think it's some brain, some shit being fucked with the brain. Because when you're talking about dealing with electricity and magnetism, all that good stuff. You're talking about dealing with electricity, though. You know, you can switch the brain on and off. You can switch to do different things if you know how to manipulate that energy. Kind of like the zeros and ones with bits in a computer. You know, if, if any of you guys know about computers and you know that really it's only comp one component, two components of, of a computer. And that's the zero and the one. When it comes down to it, and that's what makes the letters pop up. That's what makes everything happen. And you can switch them. The one is for on, the zero is for off. And it's and the brain wave, um, brain run off the same waves like what computers does. So it's like, okay, so is it technology? Is somebody switching shit on and off? Because people are acting real fucked up and crazy. People are acting real fucked up and crazy. And 
I will always say it. I'll always say it. I just feel like it's 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 really is. It really is. I'm not saying that I'm a Bible thumper. I do say it's a lot of great stuff in that Bible. I love certain things in that Bible, especially Proverbs, how to deal with people. It knows how to deal with situations and people and how to do, how to get wisdom and knowledge and understand stuff like that. But, you know, I don't know about Noah putting every fucking animal on the goddamn boat, on a boat around the earth. And, you know, I don't know about shit like that. You know. But anyway. um, So I say that to say this. um, It just seemed like those prophecies, you know, is knowing some things. And one thing it said was in the end days, which I think is the end of the age. Not the end of the world. Like the world's going to explode. Even though the motherfucker might do explode. When you think about it. Because hell. Look at all this shit going on. But no I think it's the end of that age. Into another age. Matter of fact. um, I think the Ill- Illuminati. They call it the new age. The new world order. I think that's what they call it. <laughs> no but anyways. um, I think we are shifting. I think we're shifting. And I'm just hoping it's going to be a good shift. Because people they're just so they you know, and again, this is my chit chat rant rave. It might make sense. It might not. But maybe you'll pick up something like you've been thinking that shit too. Or maybe you'll be like, damn, you know what I'm saying? I was just thinking that myself. Or you might think this bitch is just crazy. She's just ranting. Whatever. It don't matter to me, child. But um, I just think just how people are so cold hearted. They're not loving. It's just like how the Bible said. Motherfuckers going to hate their parents. Motherfuckers going, you know, go to war. And, I mean, we see that on Jerry Springer. Mamas and daughters fighting over dick. Bitch, we could never fight over dick. I could never fight my child over some dick. Like, you know, but the Bible said that's 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 when you're going to know that you're at the, at the end of the thing. Okay, now, um, people cold as fuck. When I say people call it as fuck, you can look at these YouTube videos. I seen a video where the baby got hit by the car. Motherfuckers walking right over the baby like they everyday life. They ain't, you know, I'm used to a motherfucker going out helping. And, you know, you know, I'm used to people helping as a community. It's just shit is fucked up. And I just think about this cartoon I used to watch when I was a kid. It was the Care Bears. And the fucking Care Bears, there was the shit. These motherfuckers used to care. They ass off bitch and love bitches. And that's how they always fix problems. And it was this one episode, and, and I probably put this in a video before, but because it's, it's so impactful. But this episode always, it told me to hold on to this. And I don't know why, but now it's 40 years fucking later. And I held on to it. And I think it's something, it's something going on with the air, okay, or with the waves. So, in it, it was a lot of evil, and people were just fucking fighting for nothing, and it was spiritually, it was something going on in the background. And I remember they took, they was doing something to the music, manipulating the music, and the music was going out into the air. And when the people heard it, it would put them in a trance. And it would make them evil. It would make them start fighting people and just going crazy, hollering, screaming, and arguing and whatever. At the end of the day, the Care Bears figured it out. The person, by, excuse me, the person behind it, the villain of it all, and um, they decided to do their care thing to save the earth or whatever. You know, so they cared and they said we care and they loved and they burst out their rainbows y'all all all this goddamn occult science in here i don't want to get too much in it because this is going to two different channels and one of my channels is not going to understand what the fuck i'm talking about so i'm not going to go deep into it but um the other channel would but anyways um they shot out they shoot out their rainbows in their chest and they say we care we care you know we love and it's like that's what solved all the problems so anyways yeah so i'm feeling like it is um, part of a masterful plan. I, I think it's part. Of, it's a masterful plan. I mean, when I say masterful, when I say I mean it. I mean it. Like it's attacks from the left to the right to side up down, bitch. We attacking you so hard and so heavy and so strong, bitch. You can't even put up a shield. You see what I'm saying? You ha- what what what? Because we're attacking you so goddamn fucking hard. 
You know, you got these natural disasters. We got y'all hating each other. We got white people hating black people. We got black people hating white people. We got men hating women. We got women hating men. We got transgenders taking over the fucking planet. We got, you You know, you see what I'm saying? We got the Democrats hating the Republicans, but yet they fucking each other when they done arguing. That's just a show for y'all dumb motherfuckers who believe in it. You know, the same thing with religion and that part of the matrix. I mean, just everything need I go on. It's so much fucking shit. And yes, <laughs> I just feel like, damn, is it? Is it is it some magic going on, which I do believe, but is it also some um is it, how much of this is the Mandela effect? How much is the, does this play a role in all of this? It all comes together and it all it all goes hand in hand. I'm telling you, it all goes hand in hand. And whether it's something that we create, somebody created and is trying to do, or something that the planet just has to do, because humans is fucking everything up and it's like what else to do? I got to get rid of y'all motherfuckers. Some of, I got, you know, Mother Earth might be like, I got to get rid of some of y'all motherfuckers because I just, I can't no more. Y'all keep littering and shit. Y'all smoking and shit. Y'all got motherfucking uh, uh, pollution and shit going on. Y'all cutting down trees. You know, it's like a body. And you beating up somebody fucking body. And look, y'all just started this shit like less than 100 years ago. With the GMO foods, with the chemtrails in the air, with the uh, creating shit that don't fucking matter shit, creating shit that don't, you know, you got people around here and, you know, I'm not judging. I might do be judging. I might do, so I ain't gonna say that. I might do be judging. But you got people around here creating fucking babies and other motherfuckers, okay? Kim, 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 Kim and Kanye just found a surrogate, right? That's gonna have a baby for them. I mean, it's like, damn, bitch, you done popped that pussy twice. You can pop that pussy one more motherfucking time, but no, you probably don't want to because of your body image. And I could be wrong. Maybe she can't, maybe she got a tube side. Maybe, maybe she can't have no more babies. Maybe, but I kind of doubt it, bitch. I kind of doubt it. I think you got the luxury and I think you have the money and therefore let somebody else fuck their body up. You know what I'm saying? You got these reality shows and they just promoting this art artificial shit. Women save your eggs. And I've been thought that was, I'm like, why do they want bitches to save their eggs all of a sudden? I know it's money in it. I know it's a money game. 20000 and all this. If they're willing to pay a bitch 20000 to give their eggs up, what the fuck is you paying for? What are you doing with these people fucking eggs? You, you, you see, that's a lot of goddamn money to pay a motherfucker. Um, for they got damn eggs and their ovaries or whatnot. You know, I don't know what they do with sperm, you know, or how much they, you know, do with the sperm or whatnot. Because I heard sperm is not that, you know. I think because niggas giving out sperm just willingly, you know, it's probably not the demand and supply is probably not on the level as of the eggs. <laughs> but So you might get 50 bucks and a goddamn a chocolate milkshake, bitch. But... I'm just saying, why is you doing that? And then they want bitches to freeze their eggs. And all these reality shows, I watch the white ones. I watch the black ones, you know, the ratchet shit. Like these uh, Housewives of Orange County and Housewives of it. Like, you know, and, and all these reality shows, they want bitches, these old broads. Old broad. Bitch, you old. Bitch, sit your cobweb pussy ass down. Hell, I got cobwebs in my shit. I'm 40. Fuck that. Ain't no goddamn babies coming out this motherfucker willingly, knowingly, or consciously. Hell no, I'm too old. Bitch, no. But you got these bitches up here, 47 and 48. Tell me, how do you have a baby? Now, you already got four, bitch. What? What the fuck is wrong with you? I know what the fuck it is. You acting, bitch. You acting because you promoting some shit. You promoting another motherfucking agenda. You, that's what you're doing. So they want to freeze their eggs. So not a big thing now is freezing your eggs. I just feel like the, the earth can't take all this artificial shit no more. And I know you're going to say, oh, but the eggs is real. and But that's not how people have babies, boo-boo. A dick usually go in the pussy. It skeets off. And then the skeet turn going tied to over egg. And then the baby mitosis and meiosis. And you, you see what I'm saying? But nah, now you can take the sperm out the dude, take the egg out the chick, 
put the motherfucker in the freezer, freeze both of the bitches 12 years later, come back. You know, it's just, it's just, it's, it's, I don't think the planet can take all the shit. And if you think that's it, that's not it. It's just everything is artificial. The clouds are artificial. There ain't real fucking clouds out there. That's fake. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know no more. But I do know that it's crazy. It's fake and it's fucked up. And um, I don't know what the fuck they doing. I don't know if they trying to kill us. I don't know if they trying to keep with the prophecy. So that we actually believe in this Jesus character. And believe Jesus is going to be busting through the clouds one day. So they orchestrating what the Bible has or whatever or what not. Um, I mean, I know you guys heard about the real ID. I'm sure you guys heard about that chip that they're putting in people's hands now. I know they said in 2017 they want to have it done in India. Um, I thought it was also in the USA as well. But now they're really trying to implement it. Um, just It's just a lot of fuckery, you know, that's going on. And um, I feel like as long as the masses of people go with it, you know. Do what it do, but if the masses of people could wake the fuck up, you know, you don't, you don't have to. All this shit is fake, it's phony. If everybody said, "I'm not paying another bill in my motherfucking life," you know, we changed the game just like that. We changed the motherfucking game. If everybody said, "Fuck it, I'm not, I'm not going to work," fuck that shit. If every, but see, you can't get just half the people. You can't get seventy five percent. Everybody got to do it. And so that's a real good plan because ain't everybody going to do it. Ain't everybody going to do it. So, you know, they got you right where they want you. They got their army. They got their military. Bitch, they can threaten you. They can kill you. They can, you, you, you know, so, you know, you let them have all this fucking power. And boy, are they using their heart machines and their blue beam machines and every goddamn thing else. You know, that's that other conspiracy shit. You're going to say she going too deep now. Nah. She done went to heart. That shit ain't real. They can't create weather. Oh, they can create motherfucking weather. Oh, yes. Look up um those microburst storms. Look that shit up on YouTube. Look at how nice and sunny it be. And all of a sudden, this storm come. It lasts like a whole three minutes and then it go away. Yeah. Now, it, that could be some spiritual shit behind that. But I think that's more technology shit. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And then just shit is all fucked up You know um, The seasons are off Which also the bible said that the seasons would be off It said time would be off I mean that motherfucker That prophecy is being predicted Whether somebody is orchestrating it Or whether it's really You know it was predicted and it, you know. But um, I just noticed the seasons are off too Like it didn't rain here in, I'm in Florida It didn't rain here it usually starts raining in April. April showers bring May flowers. It ain't raining April or May around this motherfucker. It started raining like about June. Like we was like in a drought. Like it was crazy. And it's like this is some abnormal fucking shit. And you know right now I'm seeing fucking big ass butterflies. We don't have no big ass fucking butterflies in September. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing dragonflies everywhere. Like that's abnormal. We don't even. We get dragonflies. But this is just like they, it's everywhere. It's like we inundated with dragonflies, and that's just not normal. If they do come, it's like springtime, and it's fucking like autumn in like a week or two. And then I was talking to a dude the other day, and he was telling me that um he lived right by the beach, and he said that the turtles usually come and nest there and you know they'll go out to the water they'll be there hatch their eggs and went out to the water like july now this man told me they just did that he told me this a week ago he said they just did that and he asked the turtle guy that's what he called him the turtle guy he asked him um in july you know what well when are these things gonna hatch and they was like we don't know we don't know we don't know you know so it's just like even the animals the insects like they, shit is not It's not on the right time schedule It's not on the right time Fucking clock Something not right Something not right Now I know my Mandela people gonna say CERN bitch CERN bitch C-E-R-N for all you other ones That's not on that channel 
look up what CERN is and you'll see what I'm talking about. But I know that's what y'all saying, CERN, and that could be. Possibly is, possibly ain't. But you know, it's just real crazy and fucked up and it, Oh, God, it's just crazy. It's just fucking crazy. I'm just thinking about everything. I'm thinking, this is fucking crazy, you know? I don't know. So, I mean, phew, I'm trying to think of everything I can just kind of think of right now. But, um, I don't know. What do y'all think about it? Do y'all think this is natural? Do you think this is normal? Do you think that... Global warming is playing a role in this. Do you think it's the Mandela effect playing a role in this? Do you think it's magicians that's playing a role in this? Do you think that the planet is ascending, descending? Do you think that it's God, Jesus, Buddha, one of your saviors? Pick one. Um, do you think that it's Mother Nature and she's just tired of our asses? Do you think it's aliens from another planet? Do you think the bulls coming in? I mean, whatever, you know, I didn't heard a lot of different theories. I don't know about those, but hey, maybe some people do. Maybe you do think that. I mean, what do you think is going on? Why is the earth in so much chaos and so much turmoil and just so much going on right now? Y'all let me know. I don't fucking know no more. I just, I don't know. I'm just like, okay, <laughs> rewind, bitch, rewind, oh, oh, and let me say this, too, about the Bible, okay, um, the Bible said, okay, in the end days, the truth, truth will be revealed, basically, I forgot exactly how I said it, but it basically said, people will get exposed, truth will be revealed, and things like that, and, um, you're saying it now, like, people are getting exposed, R. Kelly, Usher with herpes. Okay, yeah, I'm talking about ratchet shit right now. But y'all got to understand that back in the day when it was the 80s or even the 90s, you know, you never heard about Janet Jackson having herpes, which I've never heard of that. I'm just saying. You've never heard of, you know, Patti LaBelle, you know what I'm saying, around here doing some crazy shit. No, because stars was stars then. Stars was inaccessible. You know, stars was fucking stars. You had no access to them. Now, hell, I can pick up Twitter and hit up Donald Trump and be like, cuss his ass out and he'll respond. And I'm not calling him a star, but I'm saying he is someone of a certain, he's the president. You know what I'm saying? But I can do the same thing. I can do the same thing with Beyonce, Taylor Swift. I can do the same thing with Drake or Justin Bieber. You know, if they decide to be the one to answer their Twitter their, themselves, they'll hit me back. And the thing about that, what I'm saying about that is because of that, people are being exposed. So when people have an issue such as, let's say, like this T.I. Tiny situation, you know, they're putting all their business out there. they putting their own business out there. This girl Kiki Palmer the other day telling all her business about her husband leaving her and her child have cancer and he wrong for leaving her. You know, so it's like with the invention of technology, what I believe that scripture is saying when truth will be exposed and people will be exposed and truth will be revealed. All these things is the technology is helping those things to come out because people are so fucking emotional. They can't even keep their business to their motherfucking self. I came from a school, old school, bitch. We keep secrets. We don't tell our motherfucking business. You, you see what I'm saying? We don't do shit like that. You know, but these new, this new generation, oh, if you crack your motherfucking toe, bitch, I bet you're going to get a tweet. I bet it's going to be a Facebook status update. My toe just got motherfucking rolled over, bitch. Instagram's going to pop up. Pinterest. Dig. Snapchat. MySpace. You know, whatever the fuck you do. YouTube. <laughs> video form <laughs> right so i mean people just putting their business all out and it's beautiful for marketers for you to do that and it's beautiful for for powers <laughs> a little higher than ours to know exactly what you're doing and what's going on and know that their plans are working masterfully well so you know but um it's just it's uh, you know i'm just you know I don't know my chit chat just my chit chat slash rant just thinking I don't know but what do y'all think you know I done talked about damn near an hour now I'm gonna get off of here but what do y'all fucking think what the fuck is going the fuck on 
what is going on? I don't know. I like some of your feedback, though. I don't know which channel you're listening to this on, which is why I didn't really say an intro at the beginning or end of this, and I won't about what channel it is, but what, what, what's on your mind? What you thinking? All right, I'm going to let y'all go for now. Go on ahead and click that like button. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber to the channel. When you subscribe, click the bell. Click that motherfucking bell, bitch. And click the check box. And that way you'll get videos that I put out on the point as soon as I put the motherfuckers out. Okay. Um. Yeah, and, and leave a comment. What you think is going on? I really, I, I need some feedback because maybe y'all can help me out some more. Y'all, y'all, I need y'all help. I need to know what the fuck is happening. <laughs> All right, y'all. That's it for this video. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Y'all take care. Peace. And I'm up out of here, y'all.